this is what I woke up to at 3 something in the morning. Uh, I had to, uh, I had left my windows cracked, but when I heard this, I jumped up and put my windows up. Even though it wasn't getting wet inside, I still wanted to put my windows up because I had left a little crack. Yeah, now I'm wide awake. Sleeping at a pilot. Now I'm wide awake. Rain, rain, go away. I hope this is done before we get on the road. Because I don't like driving and pouring down rain like this. I've said this before. Yeah, wide awake in the storm. This is the awake face. I'm now wearing a do rag because my locks um, haven't been doing well with just the um, cap. They move around too much, so I have to like crush them down. Speaking of my locks, I'm hoping you guys can hear me with this uh, pouring down rain. I'll have to adjust the volume in the editing process. Ah, oh no, I think I fell on my blanket. <laughs> All right. So speaking of my locks, I bought some crochet needles, a small pack because they are still unraveling. Um, I'm still having some issues with them not, you know, locking the way I think they should be locking. I'm still having a lot of unraveling on the, in the back here. The ones that were unraveling before are still unraveling and I've tied knots in quite a few of them and I don't want to keep doing that. So I got the crochet hooks and I'm going to try the crochet hook technique where you kind of go in with the crochet hook and you're basically not so much interlocking the roots that's not what I mean um, I'm gonna have to show you a, or link a video I can't show you a video because obviously copyrighted information that somebody else's YouTube channel has but I'll put a link in a couple of the videos that I've seen um, in the description box so you can see exactly what the heck I'm talking about. But basically you go into the lock with the crochet hook and you go in at different angles. So basically basically you're forcing the lock to lock basically. You're you're forcing it to look like and become a mature lock by going in it with the thin crochet hook in and out, in and out from different directions in the actual lock itself, you know? Like let me pull one out. Like this one is this one's pretty much locked the front. Anyway, so I would go in and out with the crochet needle um, hook in and out, in and out, in and out. Basically, you're forcing it to um, tangle up on in, inside itself. So you would force it to be locked. So you're basically tangling it up inside itself, almost like back in the day when people used to tease their hair. You're kind of doing that, but instead of going, taking a strand of hair with a comb and brushing it and um, comb back combing it, you're taking the crochet hook and going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're forcing the hairs in, you hook, you bring, in, you hook, you bring. So you're kind of forcing it to tangle up within itself and making it a long knot, basically. I don't know how to explain it. I can see it in my head, but I don't know how to explain it to you. Anyway, <laughs> I will link some videos in the description box for you to take a look. It's also what they do when they do um, lock extensions. People make locks out of 100% um, um, hair for like weaving. They make locks and then they can attach those locks to someone else's hair. Like someone like me who has shorter locks. I could go get lock extensions attached to mine and have them be as long as I want right away, instant, and they would look like instantly mature locks. And as your hair grows out, you kind of cut the extensions until it gets to the point where it's only your hair. So you can definitely do that too. I had thought about doing that, but I don't know, right now I think I want to enjoy the process and see what happens. If I get too frustrated, 
maybe but it's quite an expensive process so it's not really something I want to invest a lot of money into is my hair because that's not something I've ever done is invested a lot of money into my hair I don't wear weaves, weaves and wigs and braids I don't do those so not my thing nothing wrong with it if you enjoy it hey I'm not knocking it it's just not my thing but yeah so I might if I figure out how to do it and it looks decent I might videotape myself um, doing a couple of locks so you can see what I'm talking about as well but we'll see I'm not doing that right now at 3 something in the morning I'm just sharing information with you what I really need to be doing is getting my behind uh, if I'm gonna be up I need to be recording my podcast <laughs> because that's due in like a day so I need to get that recorded so maybe that's what I'll do I'll record my podcast so um, this is a really short daily dose Welcome to the 3 a.m. Daily Dose. <laughs> There's something in my eye and I have been battling it for over a day now. I've been messing with this eye. Well, not over a day. Maybe a full day. A full 24 hours. And I feel like it's just this really thin eyelash that I can't get to or just a piece of dirt that I can't get to. But there's something like in my eye bothering me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this random as hell daily dose. <laughs> and if you are enjoying the daily doses, go on over to Patreon and support them for just a dollar a month. And you can learn how to gain access to the podcast. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Mwah.